episode four of Weird Austin. I am here with Dylan Hutchins. Hello. And Jorge, I do not know your last name. Do you want me to give you my full name? You can if you'd like. Jorge Alejandro Montaño Ruiz. Jorge Alejandro Montoya Ruiz. Montaño. Mon- Montaño. It's like, like a montaña, uh-huh. like a mountain, but, but with an O at the end. Mo- Ruiz, R-U-I-Z. All right. Well, today's topic is weird stories at work. No, crazy work stories. I don't know. Who wants to go first? Dylan, you said you had a problem. I'll, I'll go first. So, I was working as a mover one summer. I worked at a moving company, you know, bringing people to new houses, pack up their old house, take them to a new one. And so they got this big, like, coffee table. You know, and this, is, this isn't like, you know, a cheap Walmart coffee table. This is like, you know, solid wood, corners, everything. So I, I get it off the truck, prop it up on a dolly, and I'm like, all right, I got to take this thing upstairs. All right, but it's heavy and it's bulky and everything. Pulling it up one stair, whew, made it. Pull it up the second stair, everything's good. On the third stair, though, there's a turn and a corner, and I just slammed the table right into the wall and poked a hole into the wall of their brand new house. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I think one of the worst parts about it was they didn't even want that table upstairs. (laughs) Right? (laughs) So I take the whole damn thing up there, put a hole in their wall. I'm like, all right, sorry guys. They're like, oh, can you bring that back down, please? Best tip I ever got, actually, working there. Yeah, they gave me the best tip anybody ever did. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. Well, before I go, how much did they tip you? Huh? Uh, I think it was like 60 bucks for the one move. How much do you get, like, do you regularly get for tips? Uh, working for moving companies? Yeah. I don't know. Are you even supposed to get tips? Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. I didn't know that. I don't well, move a lot. It's so incentive to not treat your stuff like garbage. Right. True. Yo. Yeah, dude, some people would even have, like, little coolers full of, like, Gatorades and Power Bars and things for us to munch on. That's cool. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Um, What about you, Jorge? Mine, I think my craziest one, uh, my last job, not going to say where it was or what company it is, but it it, it is retail related. I uh, I just got to work. I I was just uh, about to start my shift. Um... I was going back into the stock room, uh, and the thing you have to kind of keep in mind is that our stock room is very, like, easily accessible for, like, anybody. Like, there's double doors, and they just swing open, you know, those, and usually when we're, like, during the day, like, we keep this, the door for the stock room open, so anybody can just walk in, because it's, like, right there, and then here's the bathroom, and here's the break room. It's, like, the smallest space you could ever imagine. Um... I was in the stock room. I was just trying to get some stuff. I was looking for some stuff, actually. And then I turn, I turn around, and there's this, like, old... There's this old dude. And he's trying to go into the bathroom, but I'm like, Hey, our bathroom's out of order. Which it wasn't. We are just trying... We're in, like, a sketchy area, so we're trying to prevent people from going in there and taking shits, like, basically on the wall, which happens. Right. Like, and, like, that's our way of preventing it from, like basically lying to people but i mean they're not going to clean it we have to okay um i tell the guy like hey bathroom's out of order you gotta like basically get out and he's like oh but i gotta go and i'm like i'm sorry dude like i mean i can't make exceptions and he's like oh but i'm already going and then (laughs) but the thing is when i'm talking to him he has his he has his back towards me so i don't really see what he's doing but i see like hand movement or arm movement like kind of like in the central region of his like body <laughs> and uh as soon as he turns around what i didn't notice was that he was unzipping his pants and he whipped out his dick the dude starts pissing in front of me <laughs> the dude has his like dick out and i'm just like oh great this is this is exactly what i came to work for just to see <laughs> fucking cock in front of me and uh i i was like my response was just like what the fuck man I leave, I go get my manager, and I'm like, hey, 
there's a dude pissing like <laughs> by the bathroom like not even in the bathroom like he's literally outside the bathroom and uh, he's like what I'm like did I fucking stutter like go back there like take care of it cause I- I'm not I'm not dealing with that like the dude has to take out and um he goes back there he handles it kind of not really the old guy gets mad at me um his reason behind it was that he was diabetic but he failed to mention that early on and i feel like if he mentioned that like before anything happened i would have right. been, been more like yeah that's cool man you go ahead i mean i okay, understand I'm my dad's diabetic. diabetic like you need to pee you I gotta fucking pee like pee. crazy yeah don't just what be- how is that a connection like, what? what is being diabetic make you pee that's just part of the I, I don't know I'm not sure it's like all the sugar in their blood and their body's trying to get rid of it okay. yeah I'd, I'd imagine I'm not like I'm not diabetic so I don't know but I mean it's like you mm-hmm. drink a lot of water you gotta go pee I mean you gotta go pee I mean but he didn't like give me a reason to open the door for him um he just kind of started like I'm gonna get ready I'm gonna I'm a pre pull out my dick before pretty I even key. like go into the bathroom wow and uh the dude starts ragging on me like to the pharmacist and I'm like why like he, I'm, I just told you not to go and you started pissing in front of me and he did, pissed on one of the pharmacy boxes too, did he you know? go through the hole or over the fence what do you mean through the oh um uh, can't believe I'm trying to remember this. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, I think it was through the hole. Wow. Yeah, because I don't I don't remember seeing his pants like down. Like, imagine if he just dropped trout completely. Yeah. Oh, pants I would have been like, mm-mm, oh, I'm out. okay. So I that reminds me. So I work at a restaurant, right? Uh huh. And sometimes I'll be working there, and you've got a family, you know, eating at a table, and the mom will breastfeed. Which, like, I'm completely, that's like, yeah. Yeah, it's normal. I mean, it'd be kind of mean to bring the family to a restaurant and tell the baby that right? they can't eat, right? You know, baby's hungry, too. Jeez. Hey, you gotta pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> right? But this one lady, she didn't even have, like, a cup, like, you know, one of those cover things? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of like an apron or something? She didn't right. have any of that. She just, whoosh, like, just folded, flopped the whole titty, or just pulled it out over just started feeding the baby right there mm-hmm. and I'm carrying like this heavy tray of food and I see in front of me this woman just pull her boob out of her shirt and I was like I had to do a double take and then just focus back on the food like I don't want to drop this on no feeding baby right wow. oh that's weird yeah, yeah that's gotta like be like super awkward yeah cause you gotta like I'm staring but I shouldn't <laughs> but I have to I'm sorry like, <laughs> not because i don't want to i want to i i don't want to it's just oh uh, man but you know uh, baby's gotta eat too right yeah you're at a restaurant oh okay so um i had a gentleman walk in with a dunbar shirt you know the, the armored money company armored cars armored cars yeah i was like you can just walk away if this is a strange question but have you ever played grand theft auto he's like which one i was like that's true it's a fair question the new one five and he's like yeah it's like, how did you feel about the missions where you had to rob the armored cars? His face lights up. He, oh, man. I made it my mission to kill every single armored car in that game. I said, really? He's like, yeah. The first three days, I'm pretty sure that's all I did. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, why? He's like, well, I mean, I know, how, you know, I know the tricks of the trade. <laughs> <laughs> he just walked out smiling. Like, <laughs> Fuck, dude. Probably letting off steam, too. Yeah. 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 I hate my job. <laughs> right? God. Man. That sounds terrible. A lot of pent-up anger. Yeah. Um, when I worked at Subway, uh, I had this country-looking six-foot-seven, you know, Bubba. Bubba. Walk in. Overalls, no undershirt. And his <laughs> family's behind him, and they're shoeless. I don't know why. And uh, <laughs> so it was like, you know, it was his wife and I think two kids. And he starts ordering and he's like, let me get the double meat feast. And I'm like, whoa. Now the feast is every single meat we have. Right. On top of one 12 inch. Yeah. He had, he had double meat of all of the meats. Right. Two of them. Jeez. And then, uh, so, like, I, I stack it high, and it's as tall as, like, every other sandwich before you try and close it. And then he's like, let me get the works. 
which is all the vegetables and everything else, right? So I I close up everything. Do you fit? Uh, barely. I'm talking very barely. And he turns to his family. What are y'all having? All right. All <laughs> I was right. like, no way. And they ordered their own sandwiches. He was serious. Did he scarf that? Like, I didn't. No, he took it home. He took it to I mean, I'm sure he had to nurse that thing. Man. Yeah. Fuck. I can't imagine. Unintended to your story there, sir. All that. <laughs> God. That's. That's gross. Yeah. It was, that's a man. lot of like. That's. I don't know how people can do like humanly. That's how, I mean, that's a lot process. of processed meats, man. Yeah, I mean, and it was like roast beef, ham. It's good he's turkey, getting his veggies, chicken. In, right? yeah. But like, I mean, yeah, yeah. The and they were fresh cut veggies that you know. Oh, I mean, that makes up. I, for I had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to slice those fresh tomatoes cut. and the onions every day. I fresh. Just, yeah, <laughs> they weren't just sitting there all day. No, either they won't let you. You know, you have to like replace them and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, sounds about right. Hey, that's. That's the burden of being a sandwich artist, sir. So. Oh, artisanal <laughs> sandwich maker. Um, we've had plenty of people walk in having to use our restrooms, and we get the occasional... Mostly we get, okay, yeah, I understand, but then there's the occasional, uh, what do you mean I can't use the bathroom? I gotta oh pee. Oh, my God. And I've had two women uh, make it their mission to not only let me know they're going to piss right outside... But grab handfuls of paper towels right off the, the front of the counter, mm-hmm. and then just walk outside. One lady actually came back in and said, "I did it," <laughs> <laughs> proudly, and <laughs> she walked away. Arms at her side. <laughs> right, yeah, Superman stance. I'm super here. I pissed on sign. <laughs> <laughs> All on the walls. That's right. Yeah, you heard it. On the walls, man. That's gross. God, like, I mean. Those people are always drunk, which mm-hmm. is annoying. You can't like, if you say one wrong thing, they're gonna get like they're gonna flip. Yeah, you're gonna flip their switch. And that's like how I feel working as a waiter. I feel like the people at our tables, they're like little ticking time bombs. Oh. You have to figure out what it is that they want and bring it to them in a certain time, mm-hmm. or else they're gonna blow up in your face. And it's kind of fun. It's like a game, but the worst this- game ever. <laughs> There was this one day though We were so busy And I had like the busiest section in the house And at the place where I work You know our managers are pretty dope They'll help us out Like if we're busy and we don't have time to do something nice. We'll like, be like nice of them to help. Like hey could you make me a latte for this table and They'll mm-hmm. be like yes I'm on it And they'll do it Well so this day we were so busy I had like two freaking managers helping me out Like it was bad news bears It just so here, here's the story, right? So I'm, I'm running some food out. I'm like, okay, I see some at the line. I've got some spare time. Yeah, I'll go bring this food to this table. Well, as I'm, I'm carrying the tray and I'm reading the ticket, and it turns out it's a table that's in my section. I'm like, well, this is weird. I don't know this table, right? So I'm bringing the food to these two complete strangers. I've never even seen them before. It turns out it's like supposed to be my table. I'm like, hey, guys. So, I'm your waiter. I know we haven't talked yet. Here's your food. This is, it turns out my managers is like, taking care of everything. And we're just like, yeah, oh, here's your table. cool. Yeah. But that's how busy we were. Damn. Wow. I didn't even talk to these guys until I brought them their food. <laughs> Enjoy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just let me know if you need anything. <laughs> it Did might you... be my manager. <laughs> yeah, really. Did you come back after the customary two bites? How's everything? Yeah. <laughs> two bites or two minutes. That's our rule. Yeah. Wow. Who takes two minutes to take two bites? That's some thorough chewing. Well, or like, well, because, you know, we'll have a plate that's like eggs, bacon, and pancakes. And so maybe people will be 20 bites. They'll finish their eggs and bacon, but they haven't even touched their pancakes. Okay. So that's what the two minutes is for. That is. makes sense. Give them some time. I spilled a mimosa on one of my guests the other day. No. Like, it's literally my first table of the morning. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm ready like to work. Hit, just on purpose. <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> Here's your drink, I, I drunker. <laughs> Six a.m. Man, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Thought you'd better be off wearing it. <laughs> uh, they were having some like bachelorette. I don't know what it was. There was some. It was like a, a gathering of like six or seven middle-aged women, and 
they were all wearing like nice dresses and everything. And I overheard her as I was leaving. She's like, oh, I just bought this dress last week. Oh no! Was, were they starting the party or finishing it? This is, they were just, I don't know. Let's hope they were finishing it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she was cool by the end, but God, I felt so bad. Bad, dude. No, I, I, uh, the one day I worked in uh, food like service, I guess. Um, my brother got me a job. I was like, I didn't have a job for like two months, and I was just like, you know what, fuck it, I'll work wherever you, where you work. He's like, yeah, man, I could, I, could, I can get you a job. Um, keep in mind, this is like a very high end restaurant. Like, they, it's, this isn't like Chili's. Like, this is right. a steakhouse. Like, and the back, they have back waiters, they have the sous chef. You, you know, like all the essential parts to make this like. To make the routine go, like, smooth, right? Um, oh, they're coming for me. Um, but... Oh, they stop right <laughs> <at the side. laughs> It's like, do, 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 do. Um, but yeah, uh, so... First day, I, I had to go find parking. I parked, like, a couple blocks away because there's no, like, parking, like, for employees there. Um, so my day was already kind of starting off, like, eh. Um, I had to walk in this, like, long sleeve, like, slacks, uh, like, tucked in. It's probably with these, black. Like, dress shoes, like, yeah, all black. It was, it was kind of hot. It wasn't that bad. It was manageable. But the worst part was that, like, I was walking there, and it just got windy as, like, like, like heck. Like, I don't know what just happened. Like, I got as if a fucking hurricane just passed through. Like, take you to Oz kind of windy. Yeah, like... I was walking and like the wind would pass me and then I'd fucking like trip. I'm like, God, what the hell just happened? And like the worst part was I I just got like I had just showered too. My hair wasn't like completely dried out yet, and I had like long like not super long hair, but long enough to like slick it back and kind of make it look nice. It was like just standing because <laughs> the way I had it was like the opposite way the the wind was coming, so I just made it stand up. You're looking like a troll doll, huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Like, honestly, like, it was exactly that. I, I got there for my first day. I did some, like, training modules, I guess. I don't know. But, like, uh, after that, they started showing me the ropes. They told me, like, hey, it's not going to be that busy today. We only got a couple people on the books. So, um, it should be pretty, like, you know, smooth sailing from here. Um, and you should pick it up pretty easily. Uh, the guy that was training me... Um, he was showing me, like, oh, this is what this salad is. And this is what this needs. And... It was a lot of specific stuff, and I'm like, I don't know anything about food, um, so this is, like, really brand new to me. He's like, oh, it's cool, man. Don't worry about it. I guess an hour in, a lot of, like, walk-ins started coming in, so we got, like, super busy. We, like, one of the uh, people that walked in were, like, it was, like, a big group, so we sat them down at, like, a big table, and I was nervous because, like, every, like, all these back waiters are just, like, duh, duh, duh. They're going everywhere, you know, taking care of all the customers. And I'm just kind of shadowing. So I'm, I'm not, like, I don't know if I should say something. Like, the guy I'm shadowing, he's like, oh, hey, how's it going? Like, but in a very professional way, obviously. And I'm just kind of, like, nodding my head. Like, yeah, yeah I'm, just I'm, I'm, next <laughs> I'm not really doing much, but, I, hey, what's up? I'm here. <laughs> and uh, it got pretty busy. So they were trying to get, like get me to do stuff that was pretty simple and they were like hey go and uh f- ask them if they need water i'm like oh i can do that um <laughs> I, gra- I got the jug and then i realized it was really fuck like it was full like really full like to the point where it was heavy as shit and it was really hard to like tilt it without like fucking like Snapping losing your yeah wrist. like losing balance <laughs> with it and uh the people I was filling the water for were these, like, I guess, 14-year-old, like, teenage girls. And they seem... I mean, they seem stuck up. They seem, like, fucking entitled to what they are. I don't know. That's just me assuming. Typical teenager. Yeah. And then I was, I asked, like, do, do you guys want water? Do you guys need more water? And they were like, yeah, sure, why not? And then I grabbed the cup. I started pouring it. Like, I realized how heavy it was. And I'm like, God, this is really difficult. And then I guess I tilted it too fast some of the water like like shot out of it oh boy and it kind of went in her purse <laughs> but like I, d- I didn't say anything cause I was like well if she doesn't she didn't see it you know it's, it's like it didn't happen hopefully she doesn't have like 
like wads of cash in there and just gets like or soggy. Or cell phone. Nah, she had it in her hand. Like, oh, of, she course. Was, yeah, of course. Of course, right? right? Where else would it be? Nah, My fault. Either that or in her pocket. I mean, they're wearing <laughs> skirts, but mm, they had her in, she probably had it in her cooch. Um, <laughs> okay. That's where I would hey, keep man, it. Not, hey, like, no lie. If I had a cooch, I'd put it in there. Your cell phone? Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <Get a> vibration. <laughs> Notification. We're getting off topic. Okay, right whatever. Sure. Okay, but yeah, that happened. And then I, I like... Here you go, like nervously gave her back the like the cup of water. I, I like I went back to the to the kitchen. I was just like, "Fuck this job," and then I quit the next day because I was like, <laughs> "This is too much." And I had to walk back to my car too, yeah. and that was like a pretty long shift. Like I opened and I also closed, even though it was like six hours, which isn't usually that long for me. Like I'm used to like eight hour shifts, even longer. Yeah. But in the food industry, like. God, that's that's tough. Yeah, it can feel like a lifetime. Yeah, yeah. And uh, after that, I was just like, uh, I called up. Uh, his name was TJ, and uh, the boss. I called him up. I'm like, hey man, I appreciate you giving me the job, but I can't do it. Like, <laughs> I, I told him straight up, like, no, nah, this this ain't for me. Like, if, if anything, like, thanks for the opportunity, but whatever. No, nah, I can't do. I no do. I no do this. <laughs> He's not for me. Yeah. I only worked in a restaurant. Uh, once I mean Subway was technically a restaurant but not really but I worked at a local uh, barbecue restaurant oh uh, really washing dishes yeah that was Uh-oh. so that that got so bad <laughs> that I would go home um, and dream about washing dishes <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah you're one of those people yeah so oh but man one of the one of the most uh, awkward things that happened to me though is like so we're closing for the night and this old man is pretty much like the only guy left and uh, I had to like you know, clean up all the dishes uh, out in the dining hall. And as I'm, like, making my rounds, I hear him blow his nose. So I don't really think too much about it. And I'm cleaning, and I'm sweeping, and I'm, you know, putting everything in the back. And I come back out, and I get to his table. And I'm grabbing napkins. <gasps> and <laughs> no. my hand no. just, like, grabs the napkin. Oh. And he blew his nose. And it was like one of those old man, like, where he had some phlegm in yeah, there. Yeah, no, he was like, I'm going to get rid of this phlegm in one go. Probably had pieces of lung in there. Oh. I see. <laughs> like, 10-year-old cigarette tar. Is, is this brain? It was so <laughs> squishy. And, oh. like, I instantly dropped it, and it hit the table, and went... <laughs> I just I, I like ran to the bathroom and washed my hands with hot water and like it was it was bad and they're like That's why is the why is the table not clean yet and I was like hey I had to deal with some stuff <laughs> give me a second <laughs> oh my gosh that's that's gross like fuck that no I can't. I can't do I mean that would have been fine I guess if it was like you know dry dry ish <laughs> but man that thing was part flubber it was just like all like soggy and with mucus. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. Like a gravy with or biscuit gravy. You know? Biscuit gravy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um I mean I have I mean I have like a good amount of like like oh, I have to clean up somebody's shit cuz they fucking shit outside. What's the worst like shit story you've had? <laughs> uh Well, I wish I, I I could like mention one where like oh, somebody took a shit on the walls in the in the bathroom. But I was never there for that. Okay. Um, obviously, I was there for the fucking dick in my face and shit. <laughs> in your face? In my face. And he just, like, <laughs> flop on my forehead. <laughs> I gotta pee. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pee on top, baby. Um, well, the one I remember having to clean, um, I actually volunteered to clean it because I felt really bad for my, my manager. Uh, like, the dude, like, worked his ass off, like, to take care of the store. And the store was shit, like... Um, our store was a focus store, which basically means it's a shit store. It's just a uh, professional way of saying it. Um, but uh, where we have, uh, we had two bathrooms. We had the customer bathroom and we had the employee bathroom. Both of them were locked. We'd say the uh, the customer bathroom was out of order. That way people don't go in there and destroy it immediately after we just cleaned it. And then the employee bathroom, which we all used, obviously. But we would never really tell people that. I mean, I would. And they would ask me, like, hey, is uh, can I use the bathroom? And I was like, no, it's out of order. Like, then how do you use, you use the bathroom? Like, we have our own. <laughs> I and keep just, it in a bag and I bring it home. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wear diapers, honestly. 
Um, Aisle six. <laughs> and uh, so where our employee bathroom was, it was kind of hidden. We had like the ice machine, the ready ice. Um, and there was like this space where like the door entrances and like this these shelves where we keep some stuff like I didn't even know what kind of stuff it was I think it was more for like damages and stuff like that so there's a bunch of cleaning supplies on it I'm guessing somebody walked through the double doors went in that corner like squatted down held like to the walls like you know like they They braced themselves they braced themselves pretty much (laughs) and they took a shit in the corner like and the worst part was like it just I don't know. They got like I'm guessing they were tall or something because that thing like ran down a good amount <laughs> and uh, it left the trail. skid marks on the wall. And I was I was like cleaning the fuck wow. out of it. Like it was so gross. Like you you know you ever like poke shit and just, he knows. Like, this, no, like I mean I had to like I had to scrape that thing off because it was it was sitting there for a good bit and um. Like, but why are you poking shit? Well. <laughs> <laughs> I understand cleaning. Okay, well, in, in, when I when I went to well, I, when I went to Wyoming, we like would uh, track like animals with like their scat or okay. poop, and sometimes like the fucking the guide would like break it apart, yeah, yeah. and just the stench of it just come out. Um, so you were trying to track the, the dude down. No, you were trying to how many hours ago was this? Bring, bring him over and be like, "Hey, you shit in this get bathroom." A, get a good whiff of it. Like it smells like a Caucasian male about six three. Did my fucking like, peeking in it and like take yeah. a, like a lick. Mm. Tell like, us what he ate thirty for minutes breakfast. ago. Has indigestion. <laughs> he like, was in a rush. Shit. Like, my taste buds are like off the roof. Man. So uh, <laughs> there was just a stench, right? Yeah, and the fact that like. It was right in front of our employee bathroom. Like it kind of sucked having to walk to it all the time. Um, the worst part was was that I thought it was done. I was like, okay, I think I got all this shit, and I'm like, it's, I still like smell something strong, like like something's still there. And <laughs> I was just good. moving stuff, and this was right after Christmas, so we were getting rid of the stuff, um, like all the seasonal stuff. You know the the things you put in front of your door, the the roots, yeah, the, the little, like, little pine tree circle, yeah. yeah. Things, yeah. We had one of the those like right there, really close to where that guy shot, and uh, I moved it a bit, and I realized I almost fucking touched like the poop that was on it. There was like poop just on one part of it, and again, like I, I went to my manager, I'm like, dude, it's ruined. We can't even fucking return this shit for money. Like the, we we gotta throw it away. He's like, yeah, just throw it away, please. Like, <laughs> stick a discount just, sticker on it. Get, get a discount sticker with the shit still on it. It's like, is this chocolate? Like, uh, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not on the naughty list or some shit. That's the kind of wreath you get. Yeah, that's probably my worst shit story. Um, aside from like, we'd have to take out the trash, right? And a lot of homeless people would go back there and take a take a shit, sleep. Um, yo, that just shit like sitting out like in the hot sun. That shit reeks. <laughs> like, it's so bad. And, like, it literally does. Uh, uh, it's... Oh, my God. It's so bad. I well, just remember it. I hope this is the last of the shit stories. But uh, I was cleaning... Because this has been, like, 20 minutes of just shit stories. No, it hasn't. <laughs> yeah. More like 30. <laughs> well, we're 30, almost 30 minutes in. But uh, um, on the boat, you rotate out who cleans the bathrooms, you know, on deployment. Mm-hmm. So they're like, all right, it's your turn, man. And me and six very unlucky souls had to go into this bathroom and uh we're cleaning the stalls and the stalls are like brushed aluminum so nothing like sticks to them Mm -hmm. however this (laughs) this gentleman and it was the male's bathroom so i can say gentleman uh i guess he was out of time or in a rush grabbed the whole roll and just wiped with it. <laughs> and then set it back. <laughs> so as I walk in, I just see this fresh white roll with a just hash mark down the front. And toilet paper was like gold on the boat, man. I mean, because you could run out like to the point where like you would go into port and buy yourself like a little pack and keep it in. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And people would be like, yo, man, I'm out of TP. <laughs> Trade it for cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like it's prison. Honestly, yes. Gummy bears, pistachios, 
Beef jerky, and toilet paper, and toilet paper the holy jerky. trinity right there. Honestly, yeah, man. And yeah, oh, so man. this jerk just ruined a fresh roll, man. And it was like the fluffy stuff, too. Oh, <laughs> it's like two ply. Yeah, at least. Man. We had like negative one ply on the boat. Like oh. it was, Tissue paper was like stock cardboard compared to this stuff. God. That's, that's the worst kind of ply. When you like wipe and it's kind of like you just had a little bit of like wet poop. <laughs> and your fucking finger goes through the paper and you're just like, ooh, that, that was my finger. <laughs> oh, is yeah. it, Does that not happen to you? <laughs> is it just me? <laughs> What's that one comedian who's like, I'd eat top ramen the rest of my life if I could wipe my ass with the fluffy stuff? <laughs> <laughs> True story. That's cool, man. Like, I mean, I, I'm surprised that happens, like... On a fucking boat, like I, I, I think like people would be more cautious, like you know. No. I, I gotta save this paper, like this whole fucking toilet paper. There's no paper. saving on, on the boat. But I just can't just imagine take... like what would motivate a person to use just the whole. <laughs> like I don't even think it I doesn't sound very efficient. I couldn't even fit a whole roll of toilet paper in between my butt crack. You I know mean, what I'm saying yeah, like, it's I a cylinder. Get a clamp, <laughs> yeah. like pry it apart. How wide is your ass? Super wide. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we also had a problem with people taking, uh, like, so you'd shower and then people would sometimes leave their shampoo behind. Mm. And so people would take it. Oh. And uh, this guy named Ash came into the shop one day. He's like, and he was very country. He's like, these motherfuckers keep taking my shampoo. I got something for them. I'm like, what the hell does that mean? The next day he came back. He's like, I feel bad for the son of a bitch who took my shampoo. I left it out like a decoy. We're like, what'd you do to it? I beat off into that motherfucker. We were like, no, no. <laughs> the guy's uh, in the shower. He just comes out. Like, hey, what's up, guys? He's just like, all fresh and shit. You see him with the fucking, like. Bro, is that shampoo coming with hair gel? <laughs> oh, my God. Your hair's all slicked up. Yeah, man. <laughs> Extra nourishing proteins. Ah, uh, It's like that scene from, like, the, There's Something About Mary. She's like, oh, oh with Ben yeah. Stiller. Is that hair gel? Mm-hmm. And she just <laughs> slicks it up. Uh. uh. Uh, it's a very rated R episode. <laughs> Ron and I never get this filled in. Well, is is that it, everybody? Crazy work stories. I mean, aside from all like the crazy homeless people and shit, I mean that's, that's a given. That's a, that's a given. Ooh, I mean, okay, I got one. Okay, I got go, one more. Go ahead, go ahead. That was. I think I got one more too. So, like, um, learning training being EMT and was doing like a ride out on an ambulance. And so, like, what we were talking about earlier with K2, mm-hmm. right, the drug that people are smoking instead of weed because it gets them high. Well, this one, this homeless lady, she smoked it, and she OD'd on it and started hallucinating. So we got a call, you know, you've got a drug patient near the homeless shelter. Let's go see what's up. So we pull up, hop outside, and we're downtown, right, on, like, 7th Street, right by the Arch and, like, Red River or something. Mm-hmm. You know? And I look around, and there's just this woman in the streets, butt naked. Not even, like, socks and shoes on. Like, just completely butt naked homeless lady. And we talk to her, like, ma'am, like, what's wrong? How come you don't have clothes on, right? <laughs> well, so apparently the I'm surprised you went up to her and asked. <laughs> well, we got, you know, that's part of the, that's part of the job. Make oh, sure she's okay. okay. Like, we, like, we hopped out of the ambulance, right? Oh, okay. And we're like, so what's wrong? Um... So she hallucinated. She thought she had a snake in her clothes. It was that bad. She thought she had a snake. So she just stripped as naked as the day she was born. Right there in the streets. Jeez. Yeah. So stay away from K2, kids. Yeah, that's for sure. Don't do anything fucking synthetic. Don't be an idiot. No. Don't do that shit. But that's the first time I've ever seen a naked homeless person and <laughs> hopefully the last <laughs> I doubt it'll, it'll be the last <laughs> right I really doubt it especially if you go down to 6th street at night time oh my god they're the just like lurking in the alleys yep like behind the dumpster and shit um I had this one really dumb experience with the fucking uh with a homeless guy it's my other job um he this dude comes in like, I don't even see him come in. That's that's the weird thing. Like, the dude was wearing a jacket. Just a jacket, though. Like, no shirt. Like, and he had it open, too. So, like, you just see his, like, you know, his, his body, like, his upper body. And the dude's wearing scrubs. 
like blue scrubs to match with the fucking red like big ass red jacket that he has it just looks like really out of place and obviously he's homeless um but I, I never saw him walk in I guess I was just too busy with a customer or something <laughs> I, I look up, and then I see the dude walking out, and I'm guessing he went into the, the like, the razor aisle, you know, where, like, there's just a bunch of razors. He fucking stuffed his, like, scrubs, his jacket with that stuff, to the point where it was, like, literally falling out. Like, you could oh see it, like, there, like, so he was robbing the place. No, he was, he was obviously, like, robbing Shoplifting. It. Shoplifting, okay. I'm pretty sure it was at least, like... What is it you have to, like, steal at least $100 worth of stuff to I get? I think it's 500 now, man. They lifted it just because they were tired of coming out <laughs> like for the constant, thing. constant, like, God, yeah. whatever. Okay, but it was a lot of, like, it was a lot of stuff. Um, and then I, I look up, and I just see the dude walking out, fucking just shit falling from his pockets. And I was like, is this dude serious? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he goes through, like, the doors, and he walks out, and I'm like, oh, hold up. I, I tell the customer, like, just give me a second. I go out. I stop in front of him. I'm like, are you fucking serious? Like, really? And, and I tell him, like, give me back the stuff. And he's like, what stuff? I'm like, are you? Basically, it was just me, like, a dumb fucking, like, confrontation with this guy. Like, Talking to a wall. Yeah, and he's like, oh, I don't have anything. And I'm like, dude... I don't want to call the cops, but I'm gonna give me the shit. Like I, I just please. Yeah. And he's like, all right, fine here. And he gives me like mostly everything. He probably probably has something like in his butt Yeah. Yeah, but fuck it. I'm not gonna like. Yeah, you can keep that, man. That's that yours, you. man. You, you you can. You don't have to pay for that. It's on the house. <laughs> it's on the house. And yeah, I just went back in. And I was just like, well, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. People are stupid. I got one last one. All right. Um. Yeah, this uh, guy came in and paid for his bill, and he opened up his wallet, and he, you know, it's like a little half billfold, and this baby cockroach just comes crawling out, oh my God. and <laughs> it lands on the ground, mm. and I'm like, dude, kill it, and he just looks left, and looks right, I don't know where it went, <laughs> well, thanks, man, <laughs> and then just leaves with his stuff. <laughs> A cockroach came out? A cockroach came out. And not soon after, we uh, <laughs> we had an infestation for a while. So Wow. Yeah. I'm sure, like, he, he left the place. The thing, like, crawled back up into his wallet. He's like, oh, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> you're back. <laughs> I've, I've, I've heard, like, the, the old joke of, like, the, the moths flying out when you're mm-hmm. broke. Right. Never a baby cockroach. Never a roach. But That's disgusting. Well. That's dirty money. I appreciate you guys joining me for episode four. Yes, sir. Maybe we'll uh, catch Ron next time and get him in the mix. For sure, for sure. Yeah, dude. You guys want to say bye? Um, Any uh, shout-outs? I'd like to give a shout-out to Jesus Christ. No, I don't really care. Um, I don't know anybody. So, thanks for listening. Ah, uh, it's Dylan Hutchins. That's sign-off. Podcast, episode four. Oh,